you. Good afternoon. I will um, go straight on my slides. So, uh, actually, the uh, the project that uh, Kelly mentioned. So, this um, most of this um, uh, research that I've done for this presentation is also related to the uh, Heron project funded by Horizon 2020. And um, in the in the transport sector, the, the key research ca question was that. What are the policy measures um, that uh, can deliver our national energy efficiency and uh, climate policy targets uh, uh, by 2030? And, and what are the key barriers for the uh, energy efficient uh, transport system in, in Estonia? But I'm focusing rather on the, on the policy measures. And uh, we did the analysis, or it's still con uh, ongoing work, so we also used a uh, LEAP tool to, to analyze these policy measures in different scenarios. Um, so what are the current trends in uh, energy consumption in transport? Uh, transport is like a quarter of the final energy demand is, uh, is in the transport sector, and it's one of the few uh, sectors where the demand for energy is still growing. And with this business as usual, uh, current trends, until 2030 there would be no change in the, in the growth of the energy demand in transport. And the key drivers in this growth for demand are drivers. So it's basically the, the, the car use that is uh, driving, this <coughs> driving this trend uh, for increasing demand. And also currently the low oil prices. And what are the the same problem as Charlie had. And we also asked many uh, uh, experts in Estonia, like 30, 50 uh, experts, what do they think that are the key barriers for this kind of trends in Estonia? And um, besides this word cloud that was generated um, with these with this, uh, names of barriers, the two key barriers are lack of integrated planning in the transport sector and spatial planning uh, and uh, the current fiscal instruments in the transport uh, sector in Estonia are not encouraging fuel efficient um, transport patterns. So we just, uh, just to, for the, our foreign guests to let you know that we have uh, basically only fuel excess duty in the transport uh, sector, no whatsoever uh, vehicle taxation. Um, so uh, this is when you look out on the streets in, uh, in Estonia, in Tallinn, so you might see a lot more bigger cars than elsewhere. And actually also, what's the problem is that um, it's not just the existing uh, car fleet that is not so fuel efficient, but that the uh, new cars that are purchased in Estonia are the least fuel efficient ones in, in Europe. Uh, so looking at um, these possible alternative scenarios, uh, we can see that there is a great potential for energy saving in, in the transport uh, sector. And this is a factor that is also increasingly recognized by the national policy processes like the energy uh, strategy and the climate roadmap 2050. But what are the, but what are the measures that actually can deliver this um, downward trend? Um, so I, I'm just putting here the, 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 the measures that have the highest potential. And first, like I said, it's the, it's the fuel efficient vehicles that could deliver the highest um, potential in um, fuel efficiency until 2030. Then um, integrated urban planning. So it's, it's dealing with the, with the demand for transport and car dependence. Uh, third is freight demand management that we have a high increase in the road uh, transport sector, and with smart road pricing, we could um, we could manage this demand there. Then, uh, next one is invest in public transport and active acti modes, so that um, the alternatives could be more attractive for the users. Uh, then, eco driving, traffic calming, so that uh, to reduce this kind of aggressive style of um, of driving can also deliver um, energy saving. So, and now when we, we compared it to the national um, targets, 
in terms of CO2 emissions by 2030, so with a, with a effort sharing decision um, target of uh, minus 13% compared to 2005 levels. So we see that it's, it's quite a challenging target for Estonia. And we need to take into account and really implement all these measures uh, to be able to, um, to uh, achieve these targets by 2030. So the 2020 targets that still allow us to, to um, increase the emissions, it's, it seems quite uh, realistic that Estonia is, uh, is going to deliver these targets, but not for 20, 2030. And um, just, to, just to say that many changes are starting from the head, let's say, and, and maybe in two years, when you go out from this building, uh, the picture on the street will look like that. Uh, this is currently the plan in, um, uh, by Tallinn City and also supported by the national government to, to re redesign the, the main street of Tallinn. It's a stretch of three to four kilometers just in front of this hotel and from, from to the left and to the right. And, um, and this is a good example that, we, that is, there is will and good examples for, for changes in this policy make, making. But like, um, by, but like uh, uh, Kate Bentus or Simona says, that we shouldn't uh, give uh, too, too many mixed signals in this transport policy either. So on the other hand, we have this Main Street um, plan uh, here happening. But on the other side of the building, there is a Rady Road, um, uh, Rady Street and Road um, mm, development scheme that would put like six to eight lanes of, uh, of, of cars uh, between the sea and, and the city. So many old policies are still have a very strong inertia and this needs to be changed. Thank you.